Hi guys, I've got my computer on the bench today because my thermal grease has arrived and uh, I was actually quite impressed. I've still got to leave feedback for this but 175 for a big tube like this and it's got written on it da -da 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 -da, high stability and reliability applied to CPU, VGA, LED chipset and other PC components low thermal resistance, high conductivity for heat transfer compliance with ROHS reach and PFOS requirements get a little pretty much what I've bought in the past so you get two of those and you also get two of these well, I'll say two of those. I bought two, so when you buy the paste, that is what you would actually get. £1.75 for just one. But you get these as well, and it's got like a little nozzle and spreader there. And they also include this. 5% discount at either of the, I'm not sure if they're websites or eBay shops or whatever. Uh, on the inside. Advertises a few products uh, and the returns queries. And uh, I don't know if this is true, but apparently, all five star ratings can actually harm an eBay seller. I didn't know that. If that is actually true. Anyway. I've got a couple of jobs to do for this one. I'm not quite, I thought I was organised, but I'm not as always. There's no surprises there, is there? Well, I was organised, thought I'd got all the tools, and I just realised, no, I haven't. Although most of what I want is laying over here, so it's not a problem. screwdriver but I'll get the screwdriver later when I need it because I'm going to be installing a couple of extra fans on this so there's the screws so well I'm going to be installing a couple of extra fans and doing a repair on this uh, side panel here because it has broke <laughs> it's been like that for ages but I want to put a fan on there and that's going to be rather noisy Actually, in fact, I do need a hexagon key, so what I'll do, I'll just uh, pause you for a moment while I go and get that and a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I've got everything now. I hope. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I will need that, but not yet. So, I'll take off that. I have got a selection of fans as well. I've got a couple up here that I can uh, wire in. Right. So I'm going to tackle my heat sink first. That's what I needed. Although I can't remember where I put that. <laughs> Do I forget one thing? couldn't find the kitchen roll so the toilet roll will do. It's just that I thought um, I'm going to need something to clean the old thermal off. Oh, right. So I've got to flip this lever up. Flip that one. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah that will be my overheating problem. It's not a major overheating issue, but I, <laughs> I will just uh, pick you up on the tripod and show you. Um, bit dry, but like I said, it's been, I would actually say it's been about three years since I last uh, did anything with this, so 
there is actually virtually nothing on the heat sink. It's I wondered why that was uh, spinning up, so I'm just going to clean. Actually, why am I using that? I've got a, I've got a wipe thingy in here. I'm going to have to, when I get to the fans, possibly go and get some adaptive cable. Do I need adaptive cables? This one, which has actually got speed control on it, I'm not sure if it works. Yes, I'm going to need an adapter for that, I think. What's this connected to? Oh. Do I not have another one connected on the motherboard then? Actually, um, dusty in that bit. <laughs> Figured I'd better do that before I do anything else. I can't be bothered to go and get the vac. Be a better idea to use a vacuum cleaner but there we go. I've got these little um, are they? <sighs> little alcoholic wipes they include with it to clean everything so I'm going to wipe down the processor. I'm going to do the base of this as well. There is absolutely nothing on that. No wonder my uh, processor fan had started to spin up rather rapidly. Hang on. That is full of muck as well. <laughs> Flaming hell. <laughs> Right. Aha! I've got a spare. I've got a spare header on the um, motherboard for a fan, so let's give that a bit of a dry. Um, should we try the? I can't actually get you any higher. Let's pull the doodah off. Let's see what this little nozzle's like. My cat's got one on. He's running around the floor like a headless chicken at the minute. I'm surprised he's not going meow yet. Oh, these are a pain in the ass to get out of the bags. I do hate this style of bag. Go away. Right. It's like a very flexible sort of plasticky. I'm not just sure what you would class it as, but what I'm going to do is uh, this is awkward. I hope you realise how awkward this bloody is. Hang on. There we go. All I'm going to do... It's a bit awkward to get in here with that nozzle on, so... This is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. This is just how I do it. I like to... Uh, just get in there and... Uh, Squeeze a blob in the middle, like that, and then just rub it around. So I'm going to do that because I need a bit of room. Bit of a blob more down that end. I only spread it around because uh, I like to get good even cover. You can, if you want, just put the blob in the middle. Right. So 
So that is that all covered up. So I'm ready to put the heatsink back on. This is actually um, a bit thicker and a bit gooier than the last lot I uh, bought. I don't know if that means this is actually any better. I know this stuff was a bit more expensive than the last lot I purchased. Pop our heat sink back into place. Hook the little catches over. And uh, lock it down. And, uh, and I just realised it's going to be an absolute bastard to get the fan, <laughs> the processor fan on that header because I've got a fan in the way. Can I do it? Oh, I've done it. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't have to take a fan off. Right. Um. I am tempted. I think I'll put this one in the top. I had two of these, but uh, I noticed this bit had broken on the other one, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd have put two of these in the top. Never mind. I think what I will do, I'm going to add this one in the top. And then that can go. I'm not sure I can do that now. there as an extra exhaust fan that's what I want to do because so I had two up here originally and then for some obscure reason I decided to take one off so I'm just going to put this one in here so just line up the screw holes screw from my pile here. So There's actually the other reason I salvaged all those fans out of those broken power supplies. So I've got a, uh, you know, I've got plenty of screws here now. Management goes a long way, even though I suck at cable managing. Put that one around here, hopefully. I could do some small zip ties so I can zip it through the holes that aren't being used. So I've got the wires a bit tied up there. Let's disconnect those and reconnect them. got like a little bit of wire or anything at hand I could just stick in there just to twist or tie it in place. Yes I have, be right back. I have got something. I always find when you tinker with electrical bits and bobs like I do, it's always good to have a box of assorted little wires. Uh, I was hoping I had a stiff bit in there, but I don't think I have, to be honest. This is just going to... As long as I can just get a little bit in there, you know, cut a little bit off of this. 
As long as I've got enough to tie a knot. Just to keep this wire out of the way. Fucking big screw hole like that, I can't get the wire through it. There we go. <laughs> Pull that through there. After all that, I cut that a bit too short. <clears throat> Always good to uh, maintain your PC. But in theory, if I actually chose, you know, just to keep this as it is, I shouldn't have to re-thermal it for another two or three years. And of course, you know, Keeping it maintained like this means I'm going to stand less of a chance of uh, damaging components like the processor from uh, you know, overheating and whatnot. Because you don't want to do that. They're not a cheap component to replace. I can't actually remember if I can upgrade this one or not. I hate doing fiddly things like this, but it's got to be done. Just trim those off. There we go, that's one done. Uh, nah, I'm not going to bother with that bit. I think that's, um, I think that's actually going to be okay. That is okay running around there. That's there's not much I can do with that, I don't think. Uh, this is where modular power supplies really do uh, come in handy. I've got so many cables in here, I actually don't know where to start with the cable management. Pull that through there. I'm just going to tie these to the chassis up here as well. reason I'm using wire, well actually there's two reasons, one I don't have cable ties otherwise I'd be using those, you know, those zip tie things, and two, if I do need to untangle any of these wires because a fan breaks down or whatever, I can just cut the wire that I've used to tie it down with. wire in here. No way to actually pin it down. What's the underside looking like? Ooh. Does that mean that actually sucks in? Ah, that must suck the air in there and blow it straight out the back. Right. Got the fan installed, the extra fan installed on the case. That's going to help it. Brush out my um, processor fan as well. Anyway. Yeah, and no, I've got some cables flailing around here like anything. I might do a bit more cable management off camera. I'm going to bore you with that. 
But what I want to do uh, is tackle the side cover next. Now I've got three nuts and bolts here. Because the uh, little plastic pegs that hold the transparent cover are broken. So I've got to pull those. We want to put the bolt through there. And we might. I don't think I'm even going to have one. There's a lot of it that's actually cracked. I was actually thinking of going to get my pot of washers and see if I've got any washers in there I could use. I might still do that. The reason I've got my hacksaw is because I want to see if I can get in here and just trim these bolts down. It's not too important if I can't. A bit long, but see right where this peg is as well up here. There, you can see where all the mounts have actually cracked. I've got that one. If I could actually get at least another two in there, we should be okay. Uh, I'm just going to get my pot of washers and see if I can find one small enough. You need one, you know, small enough. Oh, that's better. Yeah. I'm probably going to be in the way for a second. Dig deep, I think. Dinky little hole in it though. They're all quite large, but I'm hoping the spacing on the um, head of the nut will uh, head of the nut on the nut itself will uh, be sufficient. So I've just got the one more to go. Do oh I don't need a washer on that one, I can just stick this one straight in. That's the only one that hasn't cracked. anyway. thought they were going to stick out a bit too far but that's certainly better. Move my box of cables. Now I've got two fans somewhere. There's one but I've got no connector on it <laughs> so I'd have to put one on. Oh, here's one. Or I've got this one which I'm going to have to go and get an adapter for anyway. Know if this one actually works. It has got. Right, I'm going to pause for a minute and I'm going to see what adapters I've got. 
had to go and get some because I'd run out. And uh, I need some just to cover the connections I made for this fan. <clears throat> I've still got some black left, but I can't find it. Got so much junk everywhere at the minute. It's actually hard to find anything. Anyway, I'm going to go for the blue. That's better than the black one did anyway. With the black stuff you'd always uh, uh, it would never start properly and you'd end up pulling just little bits rather than a whole bit. Right. Just go over this. so they don't short out on anything or short out against each other. This is not the proper way to do this by the way, I'm well aware of that. But it works and it's never given me any problems. If you wanted, wanted to do it a better way then you'd use a little straight through um, crimp connectors. I'm not even sure I've got any of those left actually. Might have to uh, grab some. Oh, we cut my beauty. Let's bog roll that way. Right. What can I put on? I don't know what I can plug it into. I don't know exactly. like about these adapters is they always if you the pins wiggle around so if you get it wrong you end up pushing one of the pins out of the plug and uh, that actually used to annoy the living daylights out of me oh that's right so technically we are all done Although, I'm still not happy with Spaghetti Junction down the bottom here. Uh, I really don't know what to do with it though. Um, I mean, this one I could actually... I wonder if I could bunch some of these up. And then find a way to just tack them up here. Will these come off? Oh, they will come off. Oh, good. Not that one. <laughs> that one's holding a hard drive. I think that one's holding the hard drive in as well. That one will come off though. I've just got so many cables under there. It's unbelievable. I think I will actually just leave it for now. And I'll think on it. So, uh, this actually crashed on me last night. I have absolutely no idea why. I wasn't playing any games, I wasn't doing anything. Shit, that's what I want to do. I wasn't doing anything, you know, heavy. I only had Facebook open and um, um, Facebook and um, YouTube, that was it. And Skype, that's all I had running. And it came up with the blue screen that Windows 10 does and some sort of error message, I can't remember what it said now. And uh, <laughs> that was it. But I just wanted to take this out so I could uh, 
get in here with a brush and just clean that. The only problem is I've got to find a brush. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, 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 um. Well, that helped. Let me just get back in the light. Is wind power going to be enough? That don't taste very nice. Um, I'm just going to go find a brush. <coughs> Done it. <laughs> I found one. Right. So just pop that back in. That's just easier to pop that out to get to that fan because that was actually going pretty full of muck. Every time I've cleaned this out, I've never bothered doing that. that um, so. Uh, we're done now. Right, so I'm gonna put finger screws on. Don't really need to do this, but I will anyway. I'm going to put the extra two screws in each fan. Two is enough to hold them on, but it looks silly to me. So I've got the screws here. I've got four on the back one. I don't, can't remember about the front one. And, uh, yeah, I've got the screws here, so. turning round but it's in there at least it looks nice I just think it looks a bit odd you know with just the two screws in one more and uh, we should be good to go plug it in and hope I've not killed anything isn't that weird same corner the screw is just spinning round same corner, different fan. Right. I am going to move you after smacking you into a table leg. Right. I'm going to stick you here. I am also going to get a bit of light on the subject. Like so. Roll my chair over there. I'm using a different USB cable to charge the camera with now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reposition here again. Just so you're not staring at my back. Right. Plug webcam into there. Monitor 2 goes into this one. So one goes into that one. Perhaps I should have put that one on first. Uh, what have we got next? Power. Go down the bottom there. I'm going to slide that back a bit. I mean, ether webs. Find the damn socket. Um, mouse. Oh, I've not done the mouse yet, so mouse next. That, I think went in that one. Doesn't matter, but uh, that's audio. I'm missing one. Where's it gone? I'm missing my, oh, what's this one hiding down the back? My keyboard! Doing that one, right. Slide it back. Yep, got me fans all around the right way. 
Although, <laughs> I don't have no video output. The machine is powering up, it's booting up the hard drive like but I've just got no video output. You. Why are you not outputting as outputting to this one? No, <laughs> it's a short answer. Um, That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Um, right. <laughs> I'll shut you down. Well, that's new. It's never done that before. Right. I'll shut you down for a minute while I try and uh... I just got the audio but still blue, we're still getting a signal. There we go. I think it's gonna throw a hissy fit because uh <laughs> Still loading. It's out of time, really. There we go. It, uh, I don't know, I think because that video card was so dusty, when I put it back in, I think I got a bit of dirt into the PCIe slot, and that's why it wasn't working. Because all I did was remove the card again, give that a dust down with a brush, give the socket a dust down with a brush, and uh, now it works. So I don't want to get to see my password. So <laughs> that fan's blowing in, and. Uh, Pretty much as heat rises, I've got these two fans sucking outwards and that one sucking outwards and I've got this one and that one blowing air in. Because my theory is heat rises so it's going to need to go somewhere so I'm sort of creating a through effect, that's what I'm hoping for. Ooh, four minutes. I think I left some footage on this camera. Anyway, I'll shut down, so I hope you found this video interesting. And uh, if you did, feel free to hit the like button. This really is doing some odd things at the minute. I might actually, um, re get, um, once it's booted up, give it a proper shut down. And re Ooh, I forgot I left that one on. At least I know both screens are working. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Rambling again. If you like the video, give me a like. Or if you found it useful. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.